Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to the channel, and anybody that's been here before, welcome back. So um, today we're going to be doing something a bit different. So um, we're going to be doing some somewhat like a, a devlog, I guess. So I've been working um, in the background on just improving things in general, uh, working on a new template, working on new characters and uh, animations and systems in general uh, as it wasn't quite happy with what was going on previously so um so this is more of a, a sort of a guide or a tutorial just showing a little bit about what goes on in the background with the processes of um creating characters and designing the game i guess so it'll apply to um uh, Game developers as well as um people looking at what what i'm doing with, with with the game that i'm developing so uh without further ado so basically i've been working with a piece of software called character creator 4. um here you can design um and sculpt and model uh, what you want really uh this is my uh model that i'm working on currently for my male player character so you can add, you know, like shoes or clothing or facial uh, features, hair, um, whatever you want, basically. And the uh, zoom in resolution is super high quality and not really optimal for game uh, play as far as a playable character is concerned. So... Um, what we're going to go through now is how to um convert this character once it's modeled uh, as i've got it currently into uh or out of character creator exported and imported into unreal engine so uh, using currently unreal engine 5.4 um yes yeah, so let's get on with it so for oh, Unreal Engine, so in Character Creator, the bone hierarchy or um, bone structure naming convention is different, which was one of the first hurdles that I had to overcome. Um, so as you may see, the uh, naming convention has prefix of CC underscore uh, in Character Creator and the root bone which is the uh, start bone of the skeleton tree is cc underscore base hip which unreal engine does not like uh, you need to go through all sort of um ik rigs and retargeters and all sorts and it just doesn't like it basically so if we go to my player blueprint and show the difference um in here as we may see you start with the root bone go into the pelvis i go to the bone show you where we are there okay so the root bone is at the base of the character then we go to the pelvis um and then from there we go up to spine two three to the head bone and everything else character creator also has uh, facial bones for eye movement, uh, tongue, um, jaw and teeth. So you can do uh, facial animations. So just a quick demonstration of that. Talk. Hey, this may be a bit loud, so I'll quiet. Hi there. I'm a digital character created with Character Creator. Okay, so you get the idea so basically to get this into unreal uh, we need to convert the uh, the model so the first thing we need to do is select the pose there yeah that's the one um and convert the model so that it's usable as a unreal engine player model simple uh, it took me a while but i worked it out but all you need to do is select on the character 
convert to game base in the uh, options panel on the right we need to separate the eyelash material bake the textures into a single material so that it reduces size and um select for me personally the 4k highest resolution textures we can get and convert and save i'm not going to do that now because it does take a while um i've got a, a converted version of this saved already which i'll open uh, but pay attention to the bone structure when the new one opens as the game base model i want to save no place all okay so we now have pelvis thigh if we go to unreal we have boot sorry then pelvis thigh the root is there believe me on the bottom i believe it's in order it is there but this is the unreal engine for uh, mannequin skeleton um bone structure now with a optimized mesh okay um sometimes when we do this i zoom in see we can see that oh and that, this one's adjusted yep so the sometimes the mesh is a little distorted uh, or jagged not quite as smooth as i would like so all i do is click on smooth mesh select the sliders to the maximum and then that fixes that there okay so this is now ready to export uh, in order to export into unreal first of all uh we need a plugin which is on the real Engine website download install instructions are here takes minutes to do it's very easy once it's done um you get the character creator button and in the plugins folder there you get the rl plugin which is installed and ready so uh, this is important to have before you import into unreal so um yeah so once that's done you've got the plugin installed everything is ready to go click on or select click in the viewport or select here in uh, the scene the uh, the character uh, file export fbx with character we're not going to send it to maya or 3ds or unity we're going to send it to unreal um fbx options i'm just going to export the mesh you can export uh, animations and everything else for today i'm just going to do the mesh basically don't need prefix or suffix uh, texture settings embed uh, to max texture size you can choose here but i'm going to go with the highest resolution 4k textures convert to uh, png uh, default pose is e pose only and uh, i select these three as well just to reduce down and um, properly merge the materials basically and then that's it so we export okay go to desktop uh, so PC4. Okay. Save. Wait for this to export. Doesn't take long. You need to drink one moment. Sorry about that. I've got a bit of a cold in my throat is really dry. So um that's done. So we're done in character creator now. All we need to do is import into Unreal Engine. Can we call thing on that? So, uh, just get a new folder basically. If I go folder, new tutorial.
CC4. Right click, import uh, from here. We find the uh, mesh that we just exported from CC4, this model on the desktop, YouTube X, open, select the HQ shader. So this is the pop-up that happens when you've got the plugin for Character Creator 4 installed in Unreal Engine. So we select the high quality shader. You can go for standard or low, but um, I want HQ, so high quality it is. Okay. And then the options here, all of these need to be ticked as they are. Skeleton mesh, because we're obviously importing the skeleton mesh. We do not want to select the skeleton. I'll explain why in a moment. Um, we need to update the skeleton references, use TO as reference pose, uh, preserve smoothing groups, import mo meshes in bone hierarchy, um, import morph targets, vertex attributes, the physics asset, uh, yeah, compute weighted normals, and uh, create new materials because we want the, uh, the mesh materials uh, to come along as well. So. That's everything. Uh, we want to take a screenshot of this. But basically, that is what needs to be selected. And then I will import all. It doesn't take long to import. But sometimes we do have a few fixes that need to be done, which we will find out shortly okay first thing we do once the model is imported we select and save all to all usually uh, we would need to go through setting up a rig uh, retargeting animations and time consuming um, but now we don't so because it's using the um, the mesh is using or the, the the model is using the unreal engine uh, bone structure um we can right click delete the skeleton that comes with the model and just replace the references with your character skeleton if it's using the ue4 um mannequin uh, skeleton so in my case, I'm using uh, advanced locomotion system. So I'm going to use my ALS mannequin skeleton here, which is again using the UE4 uh, skeleton and replace references and save. That's it. Done. Save all. We look at the uh, bone structure, the same. Start with root, go into pelvis, to spine one, two, three, um, and all animations are automatically retargeted because it's using the same skeleton. So all I need to do now is go to my character blueprint and oh, is the mesh uh, save. Tutorial, new tutorial as season four, and change this mesh for that one. Save, and before we do that, actually, wait. Yeah, so this is another issue that sometimes happens. Let me just disappear or hide the bones and see it clear there. Okay. So the model um, from here, I mean, you can see it's not quite the same in Unreal. So it's like it's cartoony and blocky and not, not the same. It doesn't look the same. So a uh, very easy fix for this. So I'll just close that down a moment. We go to the imported textures and two of them 
I don't know why in the FPM folder for the body mesh and the normal import as virtual textures and that is the issue so just select both hit enter so you open both textures up in the search box find virtual texture streaming and tick and save same for the texture virtual texture streaming tick save and that is it that's all that needs to be done there there we go so we're back to as we should be and we can just press play so this is another issue that happens There we go as you may see we've got twitchy leg syndrome uh, all of the animations work we can run we can move we can jump we can i put in Um, right. uh, we can climb everything works but we've got a twitching left leg I don't know why so if anybody does know why that happens if you can post in the comments that'd be great but the fix for that is just to save all exit and real engine just reopen it and that's it so we just open the project up again and it's not related to this um template that i'm trying out it's just a, a glitch in unreal engine 5 so yeah this is done let's go open okay. the rain off go and that's it so yeah no more twitchy leg and everything works as expected basically oh so, yeah so now we have the model imported um we can get clothes so let's get a hat uh no baseball hats we are um that's the get a green okay so we have the hat and the model all i need to do now is like for instance in my game um on the template that I'm working on, I have all of these, uh, all of the items added in already. So, as an example, we've got a blue hat, we've got a backpack, orange coat, blue shoes, blue fleece, I have some uh, black pants, I guess, and then they can be equipped to the player. Oh, yeah. Nice funky colours. So we take off the uh, jacket. See, we've got a fleece. We take off the backpack. We've got a character with clothing that moves with the character, basically. Perhaps you get the idea. So what we need to do now is basically export this baseball hat into Unreal, but we don't want the body we don't want the boxes we only want the hat and this is very simple to do so first things first we go to the scene uh, the model has uh, eyes which we don't need so we delete those the eyebrows we can delete as well boxes this might not be nsfw but there's nothing really there um we only need the hat basically so First thing I need to do is go to hide body mesh, select 
all of the uh, triangles hide that's this part then I need to go to Kevin the, um, the body mesh edit mesh it's hidden already which is good if I click on the hats and test and see what is being displayed we still have see here we still have the tongue which is there so come out of this select the tongue edit mesh select all the faces hide now if i select the hat it's only the hat that we have in view that's that so with the hat selected i go in to file export yeah sorry okay so file export these are the settings that we used earlier so nothing needs to change there export okay name it green at save quickly and that's it so into unreal to my accessories folder hats all hats we've got blue so green right click import hq shader these are the settings from previously so again doesn't need anything changing we want the materials because we want the app materials so all this doesn't take long like before we need this hat to um inherit the uh, the body of the player so again we select the skeleton delete choose the als mannequin skeleton in my instance which is my player skeleton and then replace reference all done we now have a new hat but uh i need to add this to my data so the blue the mesh in eventually I'm gonna have a female uh, character as well so for the character selection so you can go uh, male or female options separately just got a male character for now but that's ready to go so I go in daytime green baseball hat the hat that we just imported and whipped and that's it done so if we go and let's go all green uh baseball hat green backpack green coat green um, Green fleece, green boots, and green pants. So, put all of them, and we're ready to go. So, that's how easy it is to get characters from CC4 into Unreal. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions, pop them in the comments, and um, yeah. Thanks for watching.